Hi there, Laura here from Get Organized HQ, and I wanna share with you what my monthly digital reset looks like. So many of you have probably heard of like doing a monthly reset in your home, which I highly recommend, where you go, you know, check your stock of paper towels and toilet paper and refill all your soap dishes and you know, whatever, whatever it is you need to do. But you may not have thought about it doing it in your digital life and it is a game changer there. So I highly recommend that you do something like this. I'm going to share with you what I do. Now I do want to mention that I do not think that your routine needs to look exactly like mine. This is just going to give you some ideas and you can formulate your own. I would also suggest the most important thing is starting small with this. So I have several steps in here. They actually only take me like some of them just take 60 seconds, literally. So this is not something that takes me a long time. I'm also caught up with these things. If you're not caught up, then don't add that into your routine yet because that's going to be overwhelming. And it's far better that you establish that routine. So every month you're doing this, even if you don't get it all done. And I don't most, most months I get 75% of it done, but I just don't feel like doing a couple of them. It's no big deal. I'll get to them the next month. Uh, so that's how that works. So let's go ahead and dive in. Now I start this routine uh, when I do the monthly plan with me. We do that in our insiders. That's our membership. Every single month you can click uh, to find out more down below and I'll talk about that again at the end of the video. So that's kind of my trigger that this is the time I need to do these things and make sure that I set aside the time to plan for the month and to get these things done. I personally really enjoy this. I love digital stuff. So it's kind of fun. Sit down with like, you know, a mug of coffee or hot chocolate or your favorite beverage and do this. The first thing I do is my monthly budget. I do this digitally. I use an app called YNAB, which I love. If you would like me to do a video all about this, let me know down in the comments and I'll be happy to make one. As of this time, I don't have one, but I use that. It's all digital. It's very easy to use. And when the month starts, I make sure that all of my transactions are categorized from the month before. They almost always are. I do this almost daily. And then I allocate any money that we earned in the month before. I allocate that to our different, I call them envelopes. Um, in our digital budget. So I do that at the beginning of each month. Whatever way that you budget or manage your finances, I recommend that you do that. The second thing I do, and this really goes hand in hand with the budget, is I always check my subscriptions. Most of the time this takes 60 seconds because usually I don't cancel any. If I do need to do that, it'll take another couple minutes. But I like to review everything that I have coming out on a recurring basis to make sure that I'm not paying for things that we don't even need or use. For example, if I realize, you know what, I have not logged into Netflix in four months and we're paying $15 a month for it, I'll text my husband and be like, hey honey, are you using Netflix? And then I'll cancel it. That way we just don't have subscriptions going on forever. The third thing in my routine is one that I'm actually very bad at, and that is inbox zero on my personal inbox, not my work inbox, my personal inbox. And I have a lot of emails coming in. I do not try to clear them out on a daily basis. It is just not worth my time. And so instead, every month I can do a reset, get down to inbox zero. And I often do that by declaring email bankruptcy. I'm not going through all those emails and you can watch my video on how to do that. It's actually easier than you think. Next up, this is the one that takes me the least amount of time and I like to clear my files off the desktop screen because I hate opening a computer and just seeing all these files everywhere. Also, if you leave them there, you're likely to lose them and not be able to find them. Now, typically it's only once or twice a year that I even put anything on my desktop. So this is very easy. If you, if you have a good file system, then you're, this will probably be easy for you and you save things in there, but go ahead and make sure that your desktop is clear. Next up, I like to clear my downloads folder. I don't know about you. I run a business online and I mean, my downloads folder is crazy. I mean, I can download hundreds of things every month easily and I wanna make sure that this is clear. Now, what I don't do is I don't go to like every single download and I'm like, okay, transfer this into this folder and I mean, that would, that would take like an hour. Nobody wants to do that. Instead, I just archive them. So I just have a desktop folder and I put them in the archive. Uh, the other thing I sometimes do is I sort by file size. Um, if there's large files like video files that I don't need anymore, I will delete those, but I don't worry about the smaller files that don't take up a lot of space. So this could take me just two or three minutes, not long at all. Next, I move to my phone. We definitely don't want to neglect this because this is something we use a lot. The first thing is really simple. If there's any new apps I downloaded that month, then I move them to the folder on my phone screen where they belong instead of just leaving them hanging out. And then I have like all these app screens. I just like that my phone is really tidy. Sometimes I even do this right after I download the app, but sometimes I'm, I just don't have time in the moment. So I make sure 
that those are all where they need to be. Again, this takes one to two minutes. The next thing I organize is also on my phone and that is my notes app. I don't know about you, I have it on my computer, on my phone, and anytime I need to jot down a random thing, like I'm on the phone and somebody's giving me a phone number, um, I'm at the dentist, I'm making an appointment, I need to remember something, I need to copy and paste something, I just open up a new note, and then I end up with like 30 random notes that have nothing to do with anything. And if you keep this going for month after month after month, now you've got like just hundreds of notes, you have no clue what in there is important and what's not important, and so I like to clear these out. I also have a special system for organizing my notes, um, it's in my Organizer Digital Life course where I like to have some things that I refer to often right there in my notes. One example of this is I love having the measurements for myself and my family so that when I'm buying clothing online, I don't have to be like, oh, I cannot remember how tall is my daughter or you know, what size do I need? I have all those right there at the ready and I have some other quick reference there. But again, if I get so many notes that I can't even find those, it's a big pain, so this is the time to clear those out. I will say that I also try to do this on a more regular basis, so once a week or even every couple of days, but this is kind of like my, this is this is it. If I have, if I've been really busy and I haven't gotten to it, we are not gonna let them go past this time so that they don't get totally out of control. This next one, you could do on your phone. I like doing it on my computer just because I like the bigger screen at real estate, but I deal with my photos, so, if I haven't already done this, and usually I am doing this on an almost daily basis throughout the month, I make sure I'm deleting those duplicates. So when I have 22 photos of the same thing and half of them somebody's eyes are closed, we're gonna, we're gonna pare it down to just one. So we're gonna make sure I have that done. The other thing that uh, I would really like to do here, this is like a like to do, I don't actually do this, but maybe you can, is I like the idea of creating my monthly family yearbook page right then and there. So um, it's easier to do if you do it more closer to time and I like the idea of those like family yearbooks where we have our photos, um, a little bit of journaling in like a nice photo book so we can enjoy them. I think too often I just leave them on my phone and I rarely ever look back on them and I think this would be a really good opportunity to do that and I think it would just take like five minutes if you had already culled your photos and you did it close to real time. The next thing I do is probably the most impactful thing. It's gonna sound really simple and it's actually the only thing that's like kind of more physical than digital. That is I clean all of my technology screens. So my big desktop screen, my laptop screen, my iPad, not necessarily my phone because I do clean that more regularly. You would be surprised. I don't know if I'm just a dirty person or something, but like my screens get really dirty. Um, like you're sneezing, they're just, I don't know where this dirt comes from. And it just feels amazing to clean it off and just have this really clean screen. And you kind of get clutter blind to it. And so I take this time to do it. It takes me like five minutes. Now I do turn my screens off, like I want them to be completely off. And then I have a spray. It's it also important to have those handy and nearby. I have a spray and a special microfiber cloth. I just spray it, wipe it down, and then it looks amazing. And it just makes the whole room and my whole work experience feel fresh and amazing. Now I wanna circle back to that plan with me that I talked about in the beginning. Now this isn't necessarily digital, but I like to include it here. So I start with the plan with me. Often I am actually hosting it, although uh, other people on my team do it as well. So you don't just have to hear from me and my goals all the time. And so I start with this and I love the plan with me is because what we do every month is we literally walk through it together. So I open my planner, I set my goals for the month, I talk through them and I do it with you. So it helps you set aside a time, I think when someone else is doing it, like you're not just by yourself. If you can come live, if you're in the membership, that's great and people do, but you don't have to come live, just set aside a time. Like, you know, on Tuesday at 8 p.m. after the kids go to bed is when I'm gonna do the planning, goal planning and this digital reset. And that, that'll that ensure that you set aside the time to get it done. I will also say this about the monthly planning. Um, if you are using our goal planning system, and I will link to a video about that down below if you're like, what is this goal planning system you're talking about? It's really simple, and every month I am always amazed, because I literally do it, like talk through it live with you all um, that are in the membership, and so I know how long it takes, and it's only a few minutes. It doesn't take long at all, and just those few minutes to think through the past month, like what I accomplished, what I wanted to accomplish and I didn't, and then what I wanna accomplish in the month to come just gives me so much clarity and focus. And even when I don't get everything done, and I don't, I don't get every single goal done every month, 
I have so much more clarity and purpose. So I highly recommend that you kind of layer in that monthly goal setting with your own digital routine. And then I think you could easily get this all done in 30 minutes to an hour. And I just, I almost look at it as self care time where, like I said, I can just sit down, be cozy, either on the couch with my laptop or at my desk, you know, get a mug of hot chocolate. That's my favorite um, drink and just kind of enjoy it. And I find it relaxing.